<laughs> Greetings, Earthlings. Captain Starchild here. Galactic Federation of Light. Divine Royal Family Child Rescue Services. Pleiadian Arcturian Lyran Emissary to the Vatican, the Crown, and America. Black Ops. Putting psychiatry on notice. Netherlands. Peace Palace. June 1945. International Court of Justice is the principal judicial organ of the United Nations. It was established in June 45 by the Charter of the United Nations and began work in April 46. The seat of the court is at the Peace Palace in The Hague. I will read you my full notice to the psychiatry. Four weeks ago, Tanya, we had a wonderful meeting. Set an appointment for the next week to do a bunch of cool, fun shit. Now, Tanya is supposed to be one of my therapists on my ACT team. No call, no show. Then I went to your group. And you loudly proclaimed, when it comes to my clients, I'm a woman of my word. I want you all to know you can trust me. What a fucking joke. Proves my point of how abusive, narcissistic, sociopathic, fucked up psychiatry is. And that everyone who works in the field is trained to abuse you. Keep you on known deadly poisons that are the third leading cause of death in America. Killing 500,000 people a year. Charge you for it. Make a comfy living with your delusional hallucination fantasy that you are being a good person and somehow helping people. What a goddamn shame, disgrace, horror. You're participating in genocide, getting paid for it, and give no fucks. Nazism, Inquisition, cult of psychiatry, high priests, and henchmen with your holy Bible DSM-5, a work of complete fiction written by the pharmaceutical cartels. And I've been telling you all this eye to eye for ten horrific years of the most horrible living nightmare beyond my comprehension and you all just go on doing what you do like good fucking robots. Bad. Wrong. No bueno. Criminal. Randy and April have participated and witnessed me being forcefully removed under threat of violence from my peaceful, safe family home where I was peacefully being safe, minding my own business, not committing any crimes, not hurting myself or anyone else. So fucking traumatic, and everyone says, I'm concerned, I'm worried about you, you're acting strange. And I say, your concerns are none of my business, I told you I'm fine. The reason I'm acting like this is called a panic attack. I have severe CPTSD from the dozens of other times I've been so extremely violated, assaulted, kidnapped, strapped down, tortured, institutionalized, traumatized, and tell everyone before you all got here, I've been sitting silently praying all day. You are the threat. I demand as an American you leave my private home. You are a threat to my safety. Then I get tackled, cuffed, strapped down, force injected with brain damaging deadly poisons, third leading cause of death in America, 500,000 a year, incarcerated for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16 weeks of nonstop hardcore abuse. My God, the violations have been impossible to keep up with. Violations of local, state, county, federal, and international law. I had a recording of the last situation in February. Played it for friends. And they had panic attacks, witnessing how deeply violent and violated I was, just over and over saying, I'm safe, please leave. You're making me unsafe. You're the threat. You're breaking the law. This is a very serious situation. 
I'm an undercover agent reporting to the United Nations, the Vatican, the United Kingdom, Crown, Royal Family, the Native Tribal Councils, and Intergalactic Peacekeeping Forces. This will not continue. Charges will be filed. It's in process. Holy fuck, Tanya, Blake, Randy, Doreen, April, Lom. Fucking Lom, dude. Wow. Holy shit. Kaylee, Genevieve, Natalia, Ahmed, et al., my roomie John at Elliott Park Lodge was so over-medicated on 13 prescriptions. All he literally does is lay in bed, sleep 24 hours a day, only gets up to piss, eat, and smoke, like I was for three fucking years on my couch. Then one day he comes back from an appointment with Genevieve, the nurse practitioner who was also my pres prescriber, and tells me she wants to add number 14 and give him Zyprexa. I about blew a gasket. Ancestors rolled in their graves. The halls of justice in heaven shuddered and foundations crumbled. 777th past the last straw and that's my limit of taking abuse. How the fuck could a man who literally does nothing but play dead 24-7 possibly exhibit any symptoms of any kind that supposedly need to be medicated when all he does is goddamn fucking lay in a bed a total psych med zombie. Every psychiatrist who has ever written a prescription and every agent who enforces pharmaceuticals on innocent victims is guilty of crimes against humanity. Bet. That means all of you. Already deleted most people's out of my contact list. Randy, forward this to the whole team. Months ago, I told you all that I needed weekly appointments with everyone because I'm in a critical position and need all the help and support I can get. Set up appointments in my calendar with you, which I keep because my time is valuable. Randy is the only one who kept his appointments and showed up. Everyone else, no calls, no shows. Then just show up randomly whenever is convenient for you. Beyond unprofessional. Abusive narcissistic, sociopathic, unprofessional, and criminal violation, leaving a critically ill person hanging when you've committed and are paid and university trained to do. I gotta edit that. To do your jobs. Shame. Put in fail. Institutionalized abuse, normalization. You think that all mentally ill people do is lay around in bed, zombied out, so it doesn't matter if you skip an appointment. We're not doing shit anyways. Just show up when it's good for you. And no one ever has... Uh, this glitched on me. And no one ever has a notebook. So I tell people what I need. They say right on. Then I spend the next three months repeatedly asking around the whole six of you team to get one fucking thing done. No one ever apologizes when I bring these issues up. No professionalism, no accountability. We're just slot machines for you fucking robots. And what in the Cheetos Jeebas does a psychiatric doctor who claims to be an MD, a medical doctor, study for 12 fucking years? Boggles my mind. After my first three appointments, I was fully skilled and capable of doing their job. Number one, they talk at you for five to ten minutes. Every time I start to answer their question, they interrupt me and suggest more medicine. Two, write a prescription, ladies and gentlemen. That's what psychiatric doctors do right there in a dozen words. What in the actual fuck for real do they study for 12 fucking years? By the time I was 25, I had the equivalent of at least six doctorates. Fuck the paper. Paper means shit. And I am not still paying off college debt at 42 years old like most of my people working slave jobs like you. I'm not stupid like that. In face, I'm the founder of the Smart As Fuck Club. It's elite. There's only three of us so far because 99.77769423311% of the world is total mind control brainwash homo sapien robo retardos. God, I can't wait to get off planet again. This situation will not be swept under the rug. I am a whistleblower. In touch. Damn glitches. Fuck you, North Korea. Fuck you, Iran. Pakistan, whoever you are, Syria. I am in touch with the Citizens Commission on Human Rights who are working on my case. There ain't enough money in the world to pay me restitution for the horror I've suffered through. Gotta put this in there. You 
broke my fucking most important human male organ my penis doesn't work thanks Natalia for the two years the forced whispered all injections I was all ready so zombied out I didn't research whispered all just was brain washed to bend over and take it fuck's sake almighty the goddamn poison is created to chemically castrate Seventy percent of Risperdal users develop sexual dysfunction. Seventy another way of saying seventy percent is saying that. Most people who take Rispered All are injured, irreversibly, all because of having panic attacks. Wow, holy fuck, Galactic Central told me this was likely a suicide mission, but I'm crazy like that, so took the commission. Wow, never again. I'll let the animals eat their children, rape their mothers, burn their elders and prophets at the stake, play kickball with their babies' heads like Columbus loved to do when he began the genocide against my tribes, which never ended. Today it is called psychiatry. All of you are put on notice. Cease and desist orders. Time is running short. This is not a test. NCS Agent 008 102676 SSN 4731113193 September 30th 2019 526 AM Central Standard Time. This message will be publicly posted across the networks. My full list of grievances will take weeks of testimony in the international courts of justice at the halls of peace in the Hague.
Nazis. Don't go to prison. Nazis don't go to prison. They get a noose, a firing squad, lethal injection All right, people here listening, I don't know where I left off. Oh, yeah, I do. Here we go. Nazis don't go to prison. They get a noose, a firing squad, lethal injection, or I suggest bringing back the guillotine. Oh, I forgot to put electric chair in there. Electric chair. Oh, 
Or I suggest bringing back the guillotine. I know the person who has the guillotine of Bloody Mary told them to get it oiled up. Because before I'm done with my mission here on your planet, oh yes, heads will fucking roll. Fuck, maybe we should bring back the ovens. We'll see. Tribal juntas and councils are taking place as I write, all across the planet and off-world as well. Been warning you all for 10 years. That was my assignment. My conscript expired September 4th. Now I'm going to spend the next 10 years working on repairing the damage done to my brain, body, mind, soul, spirit, children, family, friends, community, planet, universe, environment, and all of creation. By Felicia. Bet.
Fuck you, April. Fuck you, bitch. Fucking cunt. Abusive as fuck, dude. Projecting and shit. That's it.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's try fifteen. Um, Jonathan Farley. Fifteen on Jonathan Farley. All right, people watching, I'm going to read the whole thing to you. Whatever, Matt, I'll never talk to you again, you fucker. Fuck you, Monty John. Going down, dude. Fuck you, Ernie. That's alright. Whatever. Alright, Ernie's gone. Ernie don't give no fucks. Alright, I'll read the whole thing, and then I'll let you go. Maybe I should make another video. No, I'll read it now. It's a long one. All right, four weeks ago, Tanya, we had a wonderful meeting, set an appointment for the next week to do a bunch of cool, fun shit. No call, no show. Then I went to your group and you loudly proclaimed, when it comes to my clients, I'm a woman of my word. I want you all to know you can trust me. What a fucking joke. Proves my point of how abusive, narcissistic, sociopathic, fucked up psychiatry is and that everyone who works in the field is trained to abuse you keep you on known deadly poisons that are the third leading cause of death in America, killing 500000 a year, charge you for it, make a comfy living with your delusional hallucination fantasy that you are being a good person and somehow helping people. What a goddamn shame, disgrace, horror. You're participating in genocide, getting paid for it, and give no fucks. Nazism, Inquisition, cult of psychiatry, high priests and henchmen with your holy Bible, DSM-5, a work of complete fiction written by the pharmaceutical cartels. Hold on, guys. Got to give this to Archie.
a work of complete fiction written by the pharmaceutical cartels, and I've been telling you all this eye to eye for ten horrific years of the most horrible living nightmare beyond my comprehension, and you all just go on doing what you do like good fucking robots. Bad. Wrong. No bueno. Criminal. Randy and April had participated and witnessed me being forcefully removed under threat of violence from my peaceful, safe family home where I was peacefully being safe, minding my own business, not committing any crimes, not hurting myself or anyone else. So fucking traumatic and everyone says, I'm concerned, I'm worried about you, you're acting strange. And I say, your concerns are none of my business. I told you I'm fine. The reason I'm acting like this is called a panic attack. I have severe CPTSD from the dozens of other times I've been so extremely violated, assaulted, kidnapped, strapped down, tortured institutionalized traumatized until everyone before you all got here i've been sitting silently praying all day you are the threat i demand as an american you leave my private home you are a threat to my safety then i get tackled cuffed strapped force injected with brain damaging deadly poisons third leading cause of death in america five hundred thousand a year incarcerated for one two three four five six seven eight sixteen weeks of non-stop hardcore abuse my god the violations have been impossible to keep up with Violations of local, state, county, federal, and international law. I had a recording of the last situation in February. Played it for friends and they had panic attacks, witnessing how deeply violent and violated I was just over and over saying, I'm safe. Please leave. You're making me unsafe. You're the threat. You're breaking the law. This is a very serious situation. I'm an undercover agent reporting to the UN, the Vatican, the UK Crown, the Native Tribal Councils, and Intergalactic Peacekeeping Forces. This will not continue. Charges will be filed. It's in process. Holy fuck, Tanya, Blake, Randy, Doreen, April, Lam, Kali, Genevieve, Natalia, Ahmed, et al. My roomie John at Elliot Park Lodge was so fucking over-medicated on 13 scripts. All he literally does is lay in bed. Sleep 24-7 a day only gets up to piss, eat, or smoke like I was for three fucking years on my couch. Then one day he comes back from an appointment with Genevieve, my practitioner too, and tells me she wants to add number 14 and give him Zyprexa. I about blew a fucking gasket. Ancestors rolled in their graves. The halls of justice in heaven shuddered and foundations crumbled. 777th passed the last straw, and that's my limit of taking abuse. How the fuck could a man who literally does nothing but play dead 24-7 possibly exhibit any symptoms of any kind that supposedly need to be medicated when all he does is goddamn fucking lay in a bed a total psych med zombie? Every psychiatrist who has ever written a prescription and every agent who enforces pharmaceuticals on innocent victims is guilty of crimes against humanity. Bet. That means all of you. All of you, cops, nurses, assistants, fucking everyone involved in the psychiatric situation and the pharmaceutical situation, guilty of crimes against humanity. Already deleted most people's out of my contact list. Randy, forward this to the whole team. Months ago, I told you all that I needed weekly appointments with everyone because I'm in a critical position and need all the help and support I can get. Set up appointments in my calendar, which I keep because my time is valuable. Randy is the only one who kept his appointments and showed up. Everyone else, no calls, no shows. Then just show up randomly whenever is convenient for you. Beyond unprofessional, abusive, narcissistic, sociopathic, unprofessional, and criminal. Violation, leaving a critically ill person hanging when you've committed and are paid and university trained to do your jobs. Fail, shame, institutionalized abuse, normalization. You think that all mentally ill people do is lay around in bed zombied out so it doesn't matter if you skip an appointment. We're not doing shit anyways. Show up when it's good for you. And no one ever has a notebook, so I tell people what I need. They say right on. Then I spend the next three months repeatedly asking around the whole team to get one fucking thing done. No one ever apologizes when I bring these issues up. No professionalism. No accountability. We're just slot machines for you fucking robots. And what in a Cheetos Jeebus does a psychiatric doctor who claims to be a medical doctor study for 12 fucking years? Boggles my mind. After my first three appointments, I was fully skilled and capable of doing their job. One, they talk at you for five to ten minutes. Every time I start to answer their question, they interrupt me and suggest more medicine. Two, what they do? Write a prescription. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what psychiatric doctors do right there in a dozen words. What in the actual fuck for real do they study for 12 fucking years? By the time I was 25, I had the equivalent of at least six doctorates. Uh -huh.
fuck the paper. Paper means shit, and I am not still paying off college debt at 42 like most of my people working slave jobs like you. I'm not stupid like that. In fact, I'm the founder of the Smart as Fuck Club. It's elite. There's only three of us so far because 99.7776942033111% of the world is total mind control, brainwashed, homo sapien, robo retardos. God, I can't wait to get off planet again. This situation will not be swept under the rug. I am a whistleblower in touch with the Citizens Commission on Human Rights who are working on my case. There ain't enough money in the world to pay me restitution for the horror I've suffered through. You broke my fucking most important human male organ. My penis doesn't work. Thanks, Natalia, for the two years of forced Risperdal injections. I was already so zombied out I didn't research Risperdal, just was brainwashed to bend over and take it. Fuck's sake almighty, the goddamn poison is created to chemically castrate human beings. 70% of Risperdal users develop sexual dysfunction. Another way of saying 70% is saying that most people who take Risperdal are injured irreversibly. All because of having panic attacks. Wow! Holy fuck, Galactic Central told me this was likely a suicide mission, but I'm crazy like that, so took the commission. Wow, never again. I'll let the animals eat their children, rape their mothers, burn their elders, and profits as a stake, play kickball with their babies' heads like Columbus loved to do when he began a genocide against my tribes, which never ended. Today it is called psychiatry. All of you are put on notice. Cease and desist orders. Time is running short. This is not a test. NCS 008 1026 473-111319. September 30, 2019, 526 a.m. Central Standard Time. Nazis don't go to prison. They get a noose, a firing squad, lethal injection, electric chair, or I suggest bringing back the guillotine. I know the person who has the guillotine of Bloody Mary told them to get it oiled up. Because before I'm done with my mission here on your planet, oh yes, heads will fucking roll. Fuck, maybe we should bring back the ovens. We'll see. Tribal juntas and councils are taking place as I write all across the planet and off-world as well. Been warning you all for 10 years. That was my assignment. My conscript expired September 4th. Now I'm going to spend the next 10 years working on repairing the damage done to my brain, body, mind, soul, spirit, children, family, friend, community, planet, universe, environment, and all of creation. Bye, Felicia. Bet. Haha, <laughs> I'll never again tell you where I live so you'll never be able to jump me again with your Gestapo Nazi hit squad with that psychotic officer Jason Krashenko who told me he's Ojibwe and he got all officer friendly on me then used that friendship and trust to convince me to let him in in February by saying he was just there to deliver me my favorite food. I told him only he was welcome, opened the door and let him in, locked the door behind him. Then he went and unlocked it against my express permission and let the goon squad Gestapo Nazis in to be violent and kidnap me again to take me for forced injections of known deadly poisons once again because I was having a panic attack, which y'all good old boys clubbies call acting strange, which you use to justify the torture and abuse and harm and damage upon my divine, living, healthy, loving, gentle, peaceful, kind, caring respectful non-violent being wow you all are the psychopathic psychotic ones which will be proven in the courts because i swear to tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth with god as my witness as you will be sworn in too and your testimony will confirm my reality and justice will be served you can't fucking do what you do to human beings profit off it and get away with it forevermore something has to give well, I'm that something. Slave name, Nathan Christopher Stevens. True name, Jama Alaha Starchild. Tribal name, Chief Phoenix Firebird. Starchild America of the Seven Stars Nation of Lakota, Dakota, Nakota, Cherokee, Chippewa, Sioux, and the Pleiadian, Arcturian, and Lyran, highly advanced extraterrestrial civilizations, which are us native progenitors. And we have been in contact with them for eons on this planet. We will not let you kill our prophets. Holy people, elders, men, women, children, land, water, animals, and plants. Time is up. Things will be progressing very rapidly in the coming weeks, months, and years. A full state of planetary emergency was declared last week by our Planetary Elders Council. Shit hit the fan when you almost killed Nate the Great, Nader Greater Alligator. The Supreme Master of the Ancient Magical Order of the Blue Dragon Illuminates. Vatican Hashishan Assassin Ninja Jedi Warrior of the Light who begged for help for 10 years while you tortured me and smiled about it. 
I have a photographic memory as well as extraterrestrial implants that record every possible type of full spectrum data transmission conceivable. My intel has been submitted to the United Nations, the Crown, the Vatican, and the DC Corporation. You can't make this shit up. That's all the time I have. www.natestevens.bandcamp. Buy my fucking album so I can eat this week, fuckers. You're loaded with cash. You make off my suffering and disease, dysfunction, and disability, and a mocha and a cheeseburger ain't gonna cut it. Show me the money. YouTube slash Shining Light 777. Watch this video. I'm recording right now, and this will go live as soon as I have signal. I'm a force to be reckoned with. Fuck that. Misspoke. I don't reckon shit. I follow orders and make shit happen. And my orders come from higher beings with magnitudes of power beyond your comprehension. So go put out another hit on me like I know you will because I'm talking crazy talk about aliens and natives and shit well just fucking google native americans and the star people and you'll learn about my planet you are living on and why you've given us no choice but to remove you from it forever aho chi mcguitch mitakwe o eisen hoka heoka chief phoenix fiber star child anishinaabe medewe went tent shaker lakota heoka empath sacred clown holy fool Share this far and wide. If you don't share this, I'm coming for you.